Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all accounting, finance, FPNA, and CFO superstars across the globe. This is Chris Ortega, and this is your fresh FPNA tip and trick of the week. I just realized I've been so busy in the summertime. I haven't had a chance to record one of these uh, tips and tricks of the week in such a long time. Uh, so it feels good to be back on a Monday morning and like getting getting back to recording these. So thank you all for your patience as we get through this. And this tip and trick of the week, um, I, I, I have one that is really focused on finding those curiosity projects inside the business. So we're coming into the, we're already into the second half of the year. We're looking to see, okay, like we've got targets, we got budgets, we got forecasts to hit, we got the next second half of the year that we want to hit, we got Q3 that we're focused in right now. I think one of the best ways accounting, finance, FPA, and CFOs can be focused on the back half of the year is to find some of those curiosity projects. So what do I mean by saying a curiosity project? A curiosity project is saying like, what's that one metric? What's that one organization? What's that one functional team that you've looked at and said, man, I really think we should like dive into that a little bit more. Like, I think we should do a little like test project. We should have a curiosity project where maybe we go into sales and we look at our win close rates over the last four quarters. And we want to say like, we're seeing a trend in that. Why is that? Why is that going down? Why is that staying the same? Why is that going up? Maybe it's on the marketing side. Maybe you're looking at lead generation. Maybe you're looking at marketing qualified leads. Maybe you're looking at attribution. Maybe you're looking at lead to opportunity transitions, how they're doing in the funnel, where are they falling out, where's the spillage happening. Or maybe you want to look at into finance. This is a really, really important one. Maybe you want to have a curiosity project in terms of looking at cash burn. Maybe you want to look at some, like, how can we have some initiatives to accelerate cash in? How can we have some initiatives, some projects, uh, some curiosity uh, uh, around our outbursts, around our outflows? Like, how can we look into that? So my tip for you this week is try to find some of those curiosity projects inside the business, whether it's sales, whether it's marketing, whether it's finance, particularly not finance, like get outside of finance, get broaden that comfort zone. But try to find one curiosity project that you want to kind of tap over the next couple of weeks. And the thing with curiosity project as well, this doesn't have to be a full blown OKR objective and key result. Kind of have an MVP based approach in terms of how you're looking at some of those curiosity projects. So I hope this helps. I hope everybody's having I hope everybody's safe and well. Um, it's crazy that the summers are almost over. We're almost at the end of July already. Like Tom is flying. I guess Tom flies when you're having fun. And uh, so I hope you have a great start to your week. And uh, always remember, keep pushing, never settle, and the best is yet to come. Let's get it.